Yeah. Ernie at a Basque style Alex. Super cool. Super excited to check it out. Gonna do a really quick review. Tell you what I think. So to review an axe, what I like to do is I just compare it to other axes and chop wood with other axes. So the Basque axe is so unique, and I, I don't know what to compare it to, and so I got a bunch of weird axes. First is a Federling's Hudson Bay, which has about the same handle length, but is a two and a half pound head, it's a much lighter head than the Basque axe. So maybe it'll be the, the undersized comparison. And then I've got a Grand Forest Brook, a vintage Tasmanian pattern. And I picked the Tasmanian pattern because it has a lot of the same geometry of the Basque axe with a high center line that's designed to, you know, split and chip wood uh, better. And so that's, but that's a full size Tassie. Um, it's got some wear on the edge and it's probably the same weight. They probably wear way up pretty close within a few ounces at this point. Much longer handle and, um, and definitely a full size axe. And then finally, I just, I need an excuse to swing my Red Warrior Western Panner double bit just because I need to swing it. So let's throw it in here. I have no idea how it'll compare, um, but usually um, it's, it's more axe than I need for the kind of bucking that we're gonna do in the laboratory, okay? Not much wood left in the laboratory. Uh, these are desperate times. That's all I got. That's all I got, guys. Don't live in the woods. Can't lumberjack all day long. So in my backyard chopping station. I'm just gonna go right through this wood, this shoulder here, knotty shoulder. I'm just gonna do it. Basically, bucking a 14-inch log isn't really what the Betterlings Hudson Bay was built for. But it should feel a lot lighter than it does now that I just swang the Basque Axe. That Basque Axe feels amazing. It has great, great balance. And although bucking is certainly not what um, a 34-inch handle and a double bit is for, I just like doing this. This is a good time. I'm having a great time. And it doesn't even matter how the Red Warrior cuts wood because it's just fun to swing. So, um, but still, uh, the 27 and a half degree edges on my Red Warrior, uh, they're not doing the same amount of damage that the Basque Axe did. The Grand Forest Tassie is quite a brute. It does do a great job. But, you know, for the extra weight and the extra leverage I have with a longer handle, I, I honestly don't think I'm getting the same penetration as the Basque Axe. Um, this is a slip fit head. All right, it goes on there and it's tapered in a way so they can't fly off the edge. It's, it's not going to fly off, but it's just friction fit. And you do get some play sometimes. It'll come a little bit loose on the upswing or something. So I think the best technique is just pound it on a little bit more and that tightens it up for a while right. it's doing extremely well cheating in the laboratory it's totally legit technique flip it over get a little more wood out of the shoulder Can you choke up on a Basque axe and kind of do little carving things, you know, like feathering, tinder, and stuff like that? Well, this one's probably too big. This is the 2K size, and that was did not feel very good at all. Well, I have nothing but praise for the Basque axe after this uh, initial foray. Um, the handle's made of beech. It's not hickory, and beech is a lighter wood than hickory. So um, that may go a long way to explain how light and balanced uh, the Basque Axe feels. It's really uh, quite impressive um, compared to any of the other axes I used here. It just swings quick and feels great. And that head has got to be, you know, 3.8, 3.7 pounds if it's a 2K overall weight. So that's some power. Short, 
but that's fine. Um, I like more and more these straight handled axes. They seem to deliver um, a, a great, accurate chopping experience. So I think we need to go a little more in depth maybe in the why this axe, axe, <laughs> why this axe performs so well. So maybe that's the next video, but wow, this is great. Great, love it. So thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.